Y'all see a lot of people come here to Las Vegas and they ain't happy. I, I saw a couple arguing in the airport. Story time real quick. I used to come here a long time ago, get a hotel, get a, get some chicks. You know, and, and every time I left, I always left feeling empty and dead. If you're feeling like that, man, talk to Jesus. Tell Jesus, Jesus Christ, I feel empty. I feel dead on the inside. You know, I'm outside now. I'm living outside, you feel me? Look, I'm outside, man. Bags right there. I mean, I'm living outside now. But the issue is that I have peace. Like what Jesus says, my peace I give unto you, not the world. Not as the world does. In those little moments, you're out there on the strip. You got your clothes on. You got your drink. You're talking to this girl. You're gonna go to the hotel and you're gonna you're gonna bang. I'm gonna tell I'm gonna tell like tell you like what it is. You're gonna meet that chick and you're gonna go hit hit it. And after that, what what? Sometimes you get to that to that to that hotel room and you can't perform because you drank so much and you feel bad the whole day. Like I'm such a loser. Or sometimes a chick tripping and then you gotta go home or there by yourself to the hotel. But with Jesus Christ, he ain't never gonna leave you, man. He's gonna be there for you. <clears throat> Son, I came out trying to get a cup of coffee. And I was in Minnesota. It ain't that cold, though. You know, God blesses me. There's my songs right there. All right. Uh, so here's the 411. Uh. My, I'm about to go to the shrine. They got mass there midday. So it's, I need to go to mass today. The shrine. You know? A lot of people living down in the joint. So it's a lot of people living in this situation. You feel me? See, all that glitz and the glamour of the strip. People spending money on drink, prostitution, drugs, and alcohol. People living in these tunnels. But it's not as simple as it looks. The people living in the tunnels are living in the tunnels mostly because of drinking and smoking and drugs. It's kind of a weird situation. But at the end of the day, as Christians, if you believe in Christ, you're called to help anybody and help people out, man. As hard as it is. You know what I mean? You're called to help because on, on Judgment Day, God going to ask you, going to say, uh, you never helped me out. There's no excuses. The only thing I can tell you right now is there's no excuses on Judgment Day for never being the type of help people out. Especially the poor people. They, 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 uh, I'll tell you one thing. They're going to testify against you on Judgment Day. The third mystery. The, the, uh, the descent of the Holy Spirit. Our Father who art in heaven. Hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our trespasses. As we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. The next mystery now is the assumption of Mary into heaven. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, may will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation. But deliver us from evil, amen. Praise the Lord, you see, blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. A shrine is not a parish, it's a place where people come for pilgrimages. People don't do pilgrimages no more, you know, but in the ancient church they used to come to shrines, you know. And people do the way of St. Saint, Saint, Saint James, via. In, 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 in Spain and all that. See here, the shrine of the most holy redeemer, dedicated to the greater honor and the glory of God and salvation of all. So this is like a shrine here. A lot of people out there trying to go to mass. This is Jesus Christ right there welcoming people. So don't be afraid when you come to Las Vegas to go to the shrine, man. You know. When Jesus comes, man, when you come to Las Vegas, come here, man, for mass and everything. So when Jesus comes, how many faith do you Take your hat off. And then you see right there the tabernacle. You want to genuflect, okay? And the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Why do we genuflect? Because Jesus is here. 
and then you want to go in. The first thing you need to do when you come into a church is to be thankful or to be, have contrition. So today I'm going to be thankful. I'm going to be thank God for everything. All right? See how bright it is in here? That's what you want to do is to be thankful or to be sorry for your sins. Same thing. Because it complements one another. So here I am. The shrine of the most holy redeemer. So when you get to these places, just walk around and see what's in there. And, and, and there's holy water here. I forgot that. I had too many bags in there. So when you take that and sign yourself up to climb on the cross. You know. And when you come to the statue, just think about Jesus for a second. Like Jesus, when you was on the cross, what was you thinking? You know? Like Jesus Christ, our Savior. Amen. Amen.